Hey, I'm Jo. Welcome to my self care for hula hooper sequence. Uh, this one is myofascial release for the hips. I love myofascial release. It's an amazing way to really get to know your body, to work out where you're tight, because sometimes the place that you're tight is not necessarily where you feel the tension. Uh, epic warm up. Who doesn't love a massage? So this way you can just give it to yourself. Uh, the balls I use, this is one of my favourites, I just got it from a local sports shop, it was really cheap but I really like the texture and the size. Tennis ball's great, two balls and a sock will give you a slightly different sensation. There's a whole range of amazing myofascial release products that you can buy. Um, I wouldn't use anything too hard here, no golf balls, no spiky balls, these muscles won't release if you're pushing into them too aggressively. So I like to start out a good two minutes on each butt cheek. So if I'm teaching a class, I'll set a timer. So it's just a great way to kind of bring your awareness into your body, just to get to know the landscape of where you're working. If you do a lot of on-body hooping, there's gonna be a lot of little micro movements through the hips and the pelvis. You might feel differences between the sides of the body, especially if you do favor one side, and let's face it, most of us do. If you're turning in a circle in one direction more than the other direction, that might also show up in these muscles. If you're not feeling enough, just kind of rolling and massaging around, you can experiment with this leg. You can take ankle to thigh, that will increase the sensation. It's like now you've all lengthened those muscles out and you can just massage in there a bit more. If you do a lot of standing on one leg and box split kind of action, this is a great warm up and kind of post practice massage session afterwards. Side is really good. Lengthening and straightening this leg. Just kind of like full glute tour. So two minutes each side's a great amount of time for me. Next one I'm gonna work with, it's TFL, tensor fascial latte, which is the little muscle at the top of that big ITV. It's in between the ASIS, the front of your hip bone that you can feel, and then the greater trochanter, the bigger hip bone that sticks out at the side. You can find it from your halfway between your side and your belly. And you'll know when you found this one, it usually feels pretty intense. If it's too strong, use more weight on your arms to support you so you're not pushing down as hard or use a softer ball. You might end up lying down a bit more. And if you feel like you actually need more sensation here, you can lift and lower that bottom leg. You can bend and straighten that bottom leg. Just work, work out what works best for you, whether it's more productive for you to rest and breathe until you get that sense of release, or if it's better for you to kind of ease in and out of the sensation. We're looking for a sense of release. We don't want to just kind of poke a cranky muscle and make it angry. We want to feel a sense of letting go. Next place to work. Iliopsoas, our hip flexor muscles, just to the inside of that ASIS, that hip bone that you can feel from the front. Sometimes I do these guys both sides at once. I just pop that ball to the inside of that hip bone. You can be flat, just resting your head on your hands. You can come up onto your forearms. Bending and straightening this back leg is a great way to kind of lengthen and then release those muscles. So again, you can kind of Explore the sensation that you feel here. Sometimes I'll even do a little side to side move. Uh, whenever we are working on bending and straightening this back leg, just keeping your lower back and your pelvis nice and level and steady so we can really isolate those hip flexor muscles. This is a sequence I use all the time in my own practice. I use it as a warm up, I use it as a release afterwards, I use it at festivals. It's great because you can do this when you're tired and you still get lots of benefits. Um, if I've been on a long flight or a long car drive, this is also amazing just for like cranky lower back and hips just to release them out. Pretty much any time that you'd like to have a massage, once you know how to do it for yourself, it just opens up this whole world of relaxation possibilities. So I hope it's really helpful for you. I'd love to know your feedback. And I've also got a more active hip sequence coming up soon, so check it out.